I've just chosen to unsubscribe to the bare minimum, unsubscribe to Namibian men, unsubscribe to the bullshit. <laughs>
that song Tell me niggas really had they back turned Tell me I ain't talking my assistant When I say niggas down to pack something for me Then they thought they had a trap set for me How you really think that went for me Niggas gotta do a fact check for me When everything is put to rest And everybody takes a breath And everything gets addressed It's you alone with your regret Can I please get some chili bites? Where'd you go? But I just thought that I should give you guys like a little life update because I feel like I low-key went MIA Throughout the December in regards to like posting videos vlogs. You guys know the gist Yeah, so basically I did like write down everything Because cha I have the memory of a goldfish. Okay, like I forget things and then I get sidetracked And then I start rambling and then you know, so I wanted to avoid that so I kind of like made pointers so that I stay on track okay so guys first of all I just want to say thank you for coming back and I miss you guys so 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 much all right um, 
So, uh, what's been happening? <laughs> a lot, a lot. There was a lot going on. There was a lot going on. But okay, so I think what, where I was, I think I'll start with like YouTube and like why I haven't been posting. So guys, I haven't been posting because you guys know most I moved to Swakopmund and then like ever since I moved, you know, like if you've ever moved in your life before, like from one city to another and moving from like one office or one job to another, you'll know that like transitioning and settling in is something that needs all of you okay like it needs everything in you because you need to be focused because you need to be learning how people do things on the side and how things work you know on the side so all of that was really consuming me so i didn't get the time to um edit because i did make some videos here and there but then i was like i don't like to put out content but this sun market to get so i was like i'm not gonna give you guys like half as um vlogs because i want to give you guys content that if i was a watcher which i am for other youtubers like i would appreciate the content that you put out to get so yeah that's why i haven't been posting and then oh i've got news for you guys i've got news i've got news so the other day I received um, an email from YouTube that basically says that I qualify for monetization, you know, and I was so freaking happy. I was so happy, but this doesn't mean I monetize just yet. This just means I qualify because getting the 100 subscribers isn't all you need to qualify. You know, like you need four, before it used to be 3,000 watch hours, now it's 4,000 watch hours, child. So you need like 1,000 subscribers and then you need like 4,000 watch hours. And YouTube will like email you to tell you that listen, you now qualify, so now you can apply for monetization. So now uh, my YouTube, my channel is being reviewed. So that's news that I wanted to tell you guys. Um, uh, what was the other thing? Oh, yeah. I wanted to talk about like what type of content <clears throat> I'm thinking about bringing for you guys you know this I feel like it's a new season you know like I feel like it's a new season so new seasons come with new things so um, I've just been thinking yo what type of content am I gonna give you guys but then I thought to myself you know what don't think about it too much don't think about it too much just take it as it goes you know so in regards to like the way forward you guys will be getting obviously like home content vlogs travel vlogs like real real travel vlogs you know because i'm trying to get out there like i want to be the person that you guys are like reaching out to when you want to know about like travel do's and don'ts oh that's a that's a video idea right there but like travel do's and don'ts and i also actually want to do like a video on like um traveling to for example cape town um on a budget type of video where i actually travel to cape town on a budget like i don't fly i drive i tell you guys all the information because i think a lot of people think that like traveling to countries like south africa like requires an arm and a leg because a lot of people put out this um image and it's easy for somebody to be like oh when you go to cape town oh my gosh you gotta pay almost 10k for a return ticket because tickets are so expensive now you gotta pay almost 10k for a ticket you know to go and come back and you know things like those but you can also pay like 1500 just to take an intercape to go like that was now a few years ago it might have increased now but like i don't think it's more than 2k for you to get like a ticket for the bus to cape town but yeah i don't want to get too much into that i want to make a video on its own about all of that because cape town is expensive but that's just because a lot of people that are telling me these things are people who like things like me you know but i also know the side of me that is a cheapskate you get so i want to be able to do that and then Ooh, I wanted to talk about relationships. Way booming guys. How my life has been in regarding relationships because <clears throat> some people think that I'm in a relationship. I am not. I am very much single as a Pringle, okay? Um, uh, but I, you know most of how it is. You get tenders here and there. But it's not like, it doesn't go anywhere, you know? And I have had like tenders here and there. Like, you guys know most like when I, for example, like, Obviously, when I go to SA, I'm going to go see a person, you know, so that's also kind of like tender vibes. So, yeah, like you see people here and there, but like nothing has actually, you know, become something real, you know. But I've also decided that I'm going to cut off a lot of these niggas. Some of them don't even know that they are cut off child. Some of them do. <laughs> and some of them are going to watch this video, but that's not my problem, child. You know what you did wrong. I've realized that, guys, Namibian men are just not for me. 
Namibian men are just not for me. Like, I'm done. I'm so done. I've unsubscribed to Namibian men because they are not for me. They insist on doing the bare minimum. Like, they are genuine, genuine assholes. Like, honestly, they insist on doing the bare minimum and um, they are broke as fuck. Sorry, not sorry. Yeah, like, or oh, some of them aren't even broke, but they have a broke nigga mentality. They just act like a broke nigga. I don't know how to explain it. The girls that get it, get it. Some niggas have money, but they act like, I don't know, just your mannerisms, the way you act, the way you treat women. It's giving uh, broke. Because I feel like a high value, a high value man, a high value man, ne? men is many. A high value man knows how to treat women whether he's romantically interested in this woman or not you know so a lot of these namibian men i would not call them high value men i say what i said um so i've really decided to remove some people you cannot go through every year accepting the same shit from the same people with different faces you know so like i've decided to like basically cut off and like remove people from my life who cause me pain you know and they don't help me move forward especially men like if a man comes into my life it's either you add or you add there are no two stories because we are not 50 50 we are not the same i don't expect you to think that me and you are equals because you are not it's 60 60 it's either 60 40 or 70 30. i say what i said so like a lot of men don't know how to lead you know a lot of men that i've met let me say personally a lot of men that i've met in namibia not they don't know how to be leaders they don't know how to be leaders but they accept women they expect women to be submissive to them that doesn't make any sense to me so i've decided to remove people who cause hurt you know and also to like let go of the version of myself who accepts that you know like because you can say that oh my gosh you know i'm not going to deal with these type of people anymore i'm not going to deal with this type of people anymore but you keep dealing with these type of people it's just different faces do you get me so you also need to work on the version of yourself that's accepting that like and that's friendships relationships that's like in any and every capacity and yeah also also i'm working on being selfish i'm working on being selfish because a whole me no <laughs> If, hey guys the things that i go through with men eh? <clears throat> mm -mm. like i just don't like let me give you like give you guys like a mini story time so this guy eh? i've like been talking to this guy for about a year in a i would say it's a year now like because yeah it's going for a year it's more than six months like i would talk to this guy on and off and this guy guys the way you guys know and the way you guys know i preach about like um a guy must take you out on dates a guy must do this a guy must do that that guy has been around for so long and like everything we've done um it was something that i initiated i swear to god like everything we've done you know some things i would initiate but he would still pay you know but like i think he felt that he was initiating maybe because he was paying but it wasn't coming from him do you get me like something like you can tell a man oh my gosh i like flowers and he buys the flowers but i'll tell you now one thing's for sure two things for certain it's not the same feeling as though when a guy surprises you with the flowers dog you know so it felt like oh my gosh i was teaching this person technically how to treat me or how to love me per se you know so it became a little bit exhausting to the point where i confronted him you know i confronted him about it and he was like oh he just made it seem as though no didn't when he didn't make it seem he said to me that oh my gosh i he only courts women once they are in a relationship make it make sense make it make sense make it make sense cool and then we agreed to disagree about that because i told him that doesn't make any sense because how do you get the woman to be interested in you if you are only doing the things that have to be done when you're in a relationship Kanti, he's a liar i found out because you know girls you know girls are girls girls and then basically i spoke to one girl and she I don't know how the situation happened but i spoke to one girl and she was like oh let's give him the name ben okay and she's like oh no um something about ben and i'm like oh you know ben it's like oh, i know ben ben is offering or ben is uh, um so like he's basically she said it in the in the lines of like he's basically um always suggesting that they go on dates and that he does a b c and d for her you know um yeah so i just when i heard that i realized I was actually being seen as a fool do you get me because 
why why are you lying why are you lying do you get me so some niggas insist on giving you the bare minimum and even lying about it so that's number being meant for you child i've just decided to unsubscribe he's a nice gent though wouldn't take anything away from him like we were can i could say we were good for the friend part it was yeah there was a good run but as a partner it would never work out it would never work out because i told him to his face that he does the bare minimum like i'm really at that point where i don't give a fuck i will tell a nigga like you're doing the bare minimum and the things that i've gotten from niggas guys you would be surprised that i would have actually been accepting that but it's fine we learn we live and we learn and we're healing from those things so now i know that okay cool i've tried it guys i've tried it i've tried it nobody will ever tell me anything about the type of men that i choose to date which are older men and richer men okay because those men i don't there's no wahala there is no wahala okay but these guys these 28 year olds 29 even the 30 year olds like oh i don't even know but yeah it's like another thing that i also want to touch on is like the fact that no look let me tell you guys something so the other day um i just want to show you guys the difference in men like you should know when you're getting the pay minimum and you should know when you're getting what you deserve so there was a day mind you the guy um that i just spoke about the pay minimum nigga ben he i've been talking to for months 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 and months recently i met this other guy of course he was a namibian he uh took me out on a date he took me out on a date it wasn't like a date he was just in town from Bentuk, and then he was like no let's go have some drinks you know have something to eat just chill hang out da -da -da. and this is like our first time meeting kind of da -da -da. and i was like let me give the boy a chance let's see you know because sometimes okay let me not even say that but yeah because i heard that like he was a big boy and i was like okay let's see because for me it doesn't it doesn't shake me when somebody says that a guy has money because I've met guys, millionaires, that have a five dollar attitude, you know, or they just act like classless niggas. You get me? So for me, I'm a bit shaky always because you could find the nice ones and you could find the assholes. You get? But cool. This guy takes me out on a date and then like we go, we chat, da da da. da you know, it obviously at first it was a bit orcs, but then um, we just started. I think after the drinks came we started having like great conversations started having a great conversation and we were talking very intellectual jeans nice 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 so now he was in Sokopmund but then he was like living in Langstrand and we'd already had a couple of drinks da -da -da -da. and then he was like oh no you need to help me find accommodation because I cannot drive back in the state da -da -da. because obviously first he wanted me to host him at my place I say no um my little sister is there and even if my sister wasn't there I would have said my born again cousin is staying with me guys I'm never letting a nigga come to my house no 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 why do you want to come to my house unless you are bringing me something yeah like especially if it's the first time Woo and especially if it's at night guys i just have so many reasons why i mean shouldn't come to my house cool then i was like i told him no my little sister is there and yeah no i can't host him at my place and stuff like that and then he was, like, he was understanding he was like no just find me accommodation then and then i tried finding something and then obviously asked him no is this fine is that fine then he was like okay no something that's like 1.5 at most because i still have to give you money and then i was like oh really that's so sweet of you and then it was like yeah i can't just take you out of your peace and then bring you here and then it's just you know and i was like i don't even know how to properly say how he said it but like he was just a guy that gets that they're just those guys that just get that they just get it you know and those are the people that that's my type that's my type that's my type but anyway <laughs> anyways yeah then it was like no because i still need to give you money the date goes on because you know you get the men they promise the money and then it never materializes yeah but anyways then we now spoke da -da -da. hours went by we found accommodation and then he went to go drop me off or he came to drop me off at my place and when he dropped me off he gave me like a thousand bucks yeah he gave me like a thousand bucks which was really cool because i was just like that's so nice like because here i'm really dating niggas for less than that and actually it's like my emotions at stake my mental health is at stake 
you know so i was like that's so cute of him and since then that nigga hasn't texted me he hasn't called me he hasn't tried anything you know those are my type of guys like the leave you alone type of guys but when they show up they show out <laughs> Fuck. that's my type guys <laughs> I've just chosen to unsubscribe to the bare minimum, unsubscribe to the Namibian men, unsubscribe to the bullshit. Okay? <laughs> okay, and then uh, what was the other thing? Mm, yeah, I spoke about that. And then, um, okay, let me speak a bit about like 2023. Um, so guys, ooh, let me, let me first start at the top. Yesterday, guys, yesterday was a very scary day like so he said i was at home i was like i even cleaned up a bit because my sister left to her friends and i cleaned up the place and i was just chilling by myself da, 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 da. and then at some point you know i got tired it was like around six seven no seven i'd say seven eight i got tired and i was like oh you know what let me sleep early it's sunday tomorrow's work guys the way i got sick i got so sick like my tummy started paining or it was like my abdomen i started paining so badly like if you've had gastric before you know that gastric is not child's play girl you will cry a grown as as a grown as man or woman gastric will make you cry that should hurt so bad guys and the funny thing is that like um when 2023 hit i was telling myself how i want to remove myself from certain settings you know the settings that don't help me become bigger and better if you get me like you know uh which is drinking alcohol you know being in the scene 24 7 all of that like i was thinking to myself and i was thinking about who i want to be in my 30s and i said that that life doesn't resonate with who I want to be in my 30s. Cool. And then that happens. And then I'm like, God, if you, I know that I prayed on it. And I know that I said that I needed your help with dealing with this whole stopping to drink and stuff. But. Anyways, but you didn't have to show me like that though. Like, because now I'm scared. I'm freaking scared. I'm so scared. Jump scared. You know, so now I'm even afraid of now alcohol. I'm a bit afraid of now spicy food. Well, I did eat a bit this morning, but I stopped eating it after like I think I said I get my skin faith 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 clear bulky scarf, and I spicy but the the pizza, yeah it was pizza. Yeah, I had some I had a pizza that had jalapeno in it, so that was spicy as hell. But moral of the story is guys, health is wealth and that is what I wanna build on. Feeling the way I felt last night, feeling like I was about to die, it made me realize that, yo, we need to take care of ourselves, guys. We need to take care of the bodies that we expect to carry us through life, carry us to the groove, carry us through these things that we are going through with these unnecessary men. You know, like, we're already going through a lot. So the least we can do is take care of our bodies, the bodies that we expect to carry us through all these trials and tribulations. Do you get? So, yeah, um... I just wanted to say that I wanted to remind you guys that health is wealth and I also wanted to talk about how I'm gonna be working out next year you know I want to work on my body I want to work on my mind read a lot more like all of that because guys once you read me I know for some people they're like oh my gosh I don't like to read I'm like that's such a weird thing to say but anyways because reading is one of those things that you don't have to read fiction books you don't have to read um, philosophical books i like that like i like books to help me grow my mind so like yeah so you don't have to read what other people read you just have to read just read something but something that interests you because literally it allows your mind to open up it literally like books do to your mind what exercise does to your body you know so like reading is crucial it's crucial also um back to the going out thing either working out thing guys look at a lot of girls i'm not body shaming anybody but i'm also just here to keep it real look at a lot of girls and how they've taken care of their bodies girls in our age range i'm 24 just to give you an idea like in our age range girls don't take care of their bodies like that not a lot of girls do do you understand so if you're trying to keep your body healthy and you're not doing anything about it there are many examples of what could happen you know so i just wanted to remind you guys that like guys 
even if it just means taking a walk you know like every day or like at least three times in a week because taking a walk it does wonders taking a walk joining the gym you know joining the gym joining the gym you know like doing things to level up okay um the other thing that i wanted to say was oh yes guys stay away from comparison stay away from comparison stay away from comparison i'm going to give you guys an example imagine there's girls out there that are comparing themselves to me that they are saying things like maybe oh my gosh she's only 24 she can afford to go to joburg she can afford to go to cape town she can afford to fly she can afford to ciao 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 i am not even <laughs> i'm not even paying for any of that i am not paying for any of those things so if you are doing something that you are working towards your purpose for keep grinding like literally keep doing it because now you're comparing yourself with Sarafina, Desiree you know you're comparing yourself to people you don't know you don't know and also I just feel like people maybe this might come off a bit harsh but I just feel like comparing yourself is such um it's a stupid thing to do because it's anyway you anyways go on a downward slope after that if anything if people are doing things that you aspire to do look at it with inspiration look at it with a sense of manifestation look at it and be like you know what i'm gonna be doing what she's gonna be doing in a few years time or i'm writing this down i'm manifesting it and i'm praying on it so i'm writing it here so that when god comes and he asks me where are your dreams written down you say you know so like just manifest stuff um do things in the spirit of when you're having one negative thought you need to have 10 positive thoughts to make up for that one negative thought do you get me so having negative thoughts on upon yourself because you're comparing yourself to people on social media people you don't know people you don't know how they get their money and a lot of us we're not even gonna lie even um i was watching for this video the other day and she also mentioned how girls are literally like you know what the girls are doing in these streets you know what the dad is you know what they're doing so now you are comparing yourself to these people but you don't know that they're skipping with people the age of your father hmm? be careful be careful when you're comparing yourself be careful because you are dragging yourself down 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 um yeah okay so i did speak on believing manifesting and praying oh guys i just want to say you guys know how last year when i moved into my flat in ochorango i was telling you guys about how i was like low-key a little bit sad about the fact that i wasn't moving to swako and that i was supposed to move to swako initially but that didn't work out look at me now look at me now and tell me that praying and manifestation doesn't work praying and being positive doesn't work hmm? I know you're fucking lying because it does it really does guys putting things into the universe believing and trusting that God will take the wheel that showed me so many things last year guys it showed me so many things me going out like me leaving the country uh, um, flying out all of those things are things that I wrote down and I was manifesting and it's not things that I obviously have to tell you guys about when it's in the pro when it's in the process because I don't believe in that I believe that that's how people jinx things because gelatour yeah so like do it it works it works praying believing in manifestation it works there are a lot of things that I've told myself that I would do you know because i feel like i'm an executor i feel like if i say that i'm gonna do something i'm gonna do it like the last time i posted um an idea of the tattoo that i got on my shoulder on my instagram i was like guys hear me out this is something that i really want and then boom i think like two weeks later i got the tattoo and people were like oh my gosh you really got the tattoo and i'm like guys i'm the type of person if i say that i'm gonna do something i'm gonna do something you know especially when i put my mind to it i'm gonna do it so i feel like being an executor i also want to push you guys guys push push hard push hard because the things that you're doing now in your 20s are the things that are going to determine what your life is going to look like in your 30s girl you know and guys because shout out to the guys that watch my youtube channel yeah but like yeah the things that you're doing now in your 20s are the things that are going to determine 
who you're gonna be in your thirties. Like it's cool now, popping bottles, you know, champers, bo 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 bo. It's great, I love it. But at the same time, remember that the things that look so cool now, which is going out, being on a flight, where being doing this, doing that, doing that. Remember the things that are gonna matter in your thirties are a stable income, a paid off house, a paid off car, a comfortable life those are the things that are going to matter those are the things that are going to be like oh my gosh oh she's doing so well or he's doing so well so remember that um so yeah with that being said get up and get shit done get it done okay, so uh, my camera died so yeah so basically what i just wanted to say was get up and get it done guys because i feel like if anything if i can do it you guys can do it you guys can really really do it and a lot of you guys send me messages about how the fact that i moved out and i'm living by myself at such a young age really inspires you or even the fact that i test that i decided to take the leap of faith and move out of town you know away from my family away from my mom away from home you know like that that inspired you guys so love and light and remember that guys you can do it and then <clears throat> Oh, and then I wanted to talk about rebranding. I want to talk about rebranding. Guys, I just feel like a lot of people care too much about what other people have to say, which I don't. I really don't give two shits about what people have to say. I am going to rebrand and reinvent myself every single time I see the need to do it. Like, I really don't care. I really don't care how many people are telling me, oh my gosh, oh, say, how must no Ferrari? Oh, say, da 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 da. It's just people forget that they do things that make me limit access to me. Like, literally. And some people are like, oh, say, how Ferrari? Oh, say, da da da. But people forget. People are, people are very, very, very quick to forget the things that they do to you, you know, or the things that could have potentially hurt your feelings, you know, and it's so quickly, like, so quickly, they're like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, da, da, da. but then for me, I'm a person that, like, I don't like apologies if I don't feel like you are actually understanding why you're really apologizing, do you get me? So a lot of people um, don't really have access to me like that anymore, I mean, some of them have my numbers, some of them can dm me on instagram but they don't have access to me at all because these are things that you caused by yourself these were the consequences of your own actions so i just feel like guys when you have scock fears when people when you hear i need to say how far are say how far are dina say how much for her yeah i do i do because i just feel like means of that jala means of that rare gaat van a mens they lie you know they do really weird really fake shit you know and i don't fuck with that shit guys i don't you guys know i don't fuck with that fake behavior like I, I just don't fuck with that shit so if you just do one thing one big character flaw i'm saying bye guys i'm saying bye like if the small things are fine you know because we all make mistakes we all don't really you especially when you like get to know somebody new you don't really know the person like that but there are certain things that i'm just not willing to take especially when it comes to character flaws like when somebody does something wrong for me it's the principle of the thing it's the principle of the thing. You cannot tell me that me and you, maybe for example, me and you, um, we went out together and then, like let's say this is our first time going out together. We go out together, um, you find your boyfriend or your ex there, which is great, like guys, do you? And then you leave me there and then you go with your person. That's messed up, you know, because for me, I would just think that, yo, if I was in another situation and the people around me weren't people that were safe to be around, that's all Kabir, do you get me? So sometimes also you just see the principle of the thing. So there are people that have nice hearts, you know, you good people, God made you guys for a reason, somebody had to do it, you know? A lot of people like those really get taken advantage of because they keep forgiving people just because they apologize. But sometimes you need to look into the action. You need to see what the person really did and think, hmm, why did they do that? Like, why would somebody do that to you? You get me? So sometimes, guys, it's okay to let people go, even if it hurts, honestly. Even if it hurts, because sometimes those people are standing in the way of your blessings. Literally. Literally. Like, I cut off a few niggas and my biggest bag the one they bought the sofa <laughs> he called me and he was like and, he, and it was on the night that i chose not to go out on new year's and it was like we're just talking da, da, da. and i was just like god i see what you're doing i see what you're doing because obviously if life was lifing 
um, and I decided to go with my toss to my toxic choices I would have been out I would have been maybe with another person you know the vibes you know how it is yeah and I probably wouldn't have answered his call but that's my big bag child so I was like god I see what you're doing for the girl yeah so I think I've definitely oh my gosh I've definitely touched base on everything um yeah i've definitely touched base on most things oh i just wanted to add there by rebranding yourself um and in in the light of rebranding yourself guys make it a thing to grow closer to yourself like i don't think okay maybe it's just because um i feel like i'm a complex person in a sense like i'm not one way for a very long time like especially when it comes to like habits and things that i like like in this phase of my life i'm very comfortable being by myself you know so um guys get comfortable with being by yourself get comfortable with loving yourself get comfortable with making time to get closer to you you know have you ever felt like you weren't yourself like you're just in a certain phase in your life where you're like man i'm not myself and when she comes back you're like i missed you bitch <laughs> yes like when you get those moments remember it's, those are the moments where you shouldn't be running towards people and seeking validation or trying to overcompensate by bringing a lot or being around a lot of people know that's the time in your life where you need to isolate you need to be by yourself you need to do the things that make you you do the things that you only you will understand why you enjoy those things because i have a lot of weird little things that i do that other people probably won't get but those are the things that make me me and those are the things that bring me closer to me do you get me so yeah i just wanted to touch base on that and also i just wanted to come back guys please stop accepting the bare minimum stop accepting the bare minimum there was this other girl that i heard a rumor about i hope the rumor is not true but she's dating this other guy this girl guys she's doing great she just graduated she has a good job you know she's in um i don't think i should say what career path she's in but like yeah she's doing really well you know um and she's dating this guy you know i have no issues with people who choose to date younger guys but she's dating this guy and he's younger than her and i don't even think he's as accomplished as she is and guys this guy takes advantage of this girl child it was so bad to the point where even in public even in public when she's not there the way he reacts like the way he acts the things that he says when people ask him about his girlfriend it's just rude it's giving disrespectful it's giving i don't respect her but i'm finna use her you know he doesn't respect her there was a, there was it, as bad as the guy stealing her i don't know if he stole it or she gave it to him to hold um her uh, her atm card and he went to the club and swiped bottles Guys, some things, ne, you really put yourself in those situations, guys. You really put yourself in those situations because I've never seen, I've never been in and I've never seen a situation that ends well where the woman is like, surely you can be the main provider, da, da, da. but if you are the more accomplished one and the guy is a lot less accomplished, I think the, the chances are very slim to anorexic as to like yeah they're very slim to anorexic for relationships like those to work out the guy ends up using you because as a woman you're a nurturer you're soft so you're giving by nature so you will end up giving 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 and this motherfucking taker keeps taking 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 and guess what you are emptying out your cup filling up his stupid plastic cup anyways so yeah guys i think i have spoken quite a lot and uh, i hope this gives you guys like a bit of an update on what's been happening in your girl's life you know so um it's a new year um we are on the road to monetization we are on the road to many many subscribers so as i've moved to the coast there's a lot of content that i can create here there are more people the vibes are more immaculate so i'm very excited i'm really really excited for this new journey and guys please let me know what type of videos you want me to do because i don't know i really don't know so yeah also guys i'm also going to be on the journey where i'm going to be fixing my teeth there's a lot that's going to be happening guys a lot of boys are going to give me or a lot of boys are going to need to give me a lot of money because there's a lot that we need to do we need to do i'm also planning on doing a luncheon 
maybe like a, a meet and greet because i've been meeting a lot of my subscribers and ah uh, guys i feel so i just want to let you guys know i feel so good when you guys tell me oh my gosh i watch your videos or even like when guys tell me oh my gosh i watch your videos i'm like guys really and they're like but i watch it to the end i'm like ah uh, man it makes me feel so good so a shout out to you guys who literally give me my flowers you know when you see me because i know some niggas obviously they can't repost my stuff they can't comment because you know some of them have girlfriends and you know how it looks but like it would be great for the rest of you guys who can to always repost and share because it really makes me feel appreciated it really makes me feel like my efforts aren't in vain that there are people that actually see me and yeah so it was lovely talking to you guys um, i'm gonna make sure and edit this video tonight and then hopefully have it up by tomorrow so love you guys bye